Yo, yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel, it's got that heat, got that potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is so different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Yo, 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 this one is called IPS Cell. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Now, guys, this project is aiming to revolutionize the healthcare industry through the power of blockchain technology. In this series, we're gonna be delving into the world of IPS coin and its potential to transform the sharing of research data, treatment protocols, and patient information related to induced pluripotent stem IPS cells. Now guys, it should be noted that with blockchain technology, this project enables the secure and efficient sharing of research data, treatment protocols, and patient information regarding IPS cells. In addition, guys, the IPS coin also supports researchers and access to funding easily and expedite innovation. Individuals, research institutions, medical institutions, and other commercial services providers collaborate to develop a platform and an ecosystem where value is shared centering on IPS coin. The project aims to realize future as soon as possible where patients with interactable diseases can access transplant treatment using the IPS cells. The project also aims to improve the overall medical standard by expediting the broad adoption of regenerative of medicine therapies and developing novel treatments. So up here on their website, IPS cell is an abbreviation of induced pluripotent stem cell, which is an acronym for its English name. Professor Shinya Yamanaka of Kyoto University in Japan, who developed this project, was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2012 based on his results. The three main characteristics are as follows. One, you can theoretically be produced from any type of cell in the body. Two, the ability to change into cells of various tissues and organs. Three, the ability to multiply almost indefinitely. By using IPS cells generated from one's own cells, they can be used for regenerative medicine and drug discovery. You can receive regenerative medicine without the risk of immune reactions as well, guys. When it comes to the challenges and solutions for IPS cells, some of the challenges, we have high hurdles for safety checks, establishment of technology to stably produce high quality cells. There's also the development of manufacturing facilities, which is hurting. The creating IPS needs a lot of human resources and investment. When it comes to the solutions, guys, automating the process of IBS cell production, success development of technology to improve productivity. They're promoting the idea that individuals, research institutions, healthcare, and commercial industries have by building an integrated platform and generates inexpensive medical IPS cells and accelerates the realization of transplantation medicine for various diseases and other services such as insurance. This is lower cost, remote, and research. Their partner, the prevent Prevention Clinic in Tokyo. This provides a service that creates and stores IPS cells from the consumer's blood, which are expected to be used in the future regenerative medicine. Features of the IPS cell banking. This is a service that creates and stores IPS cells from the customer's blood, which are expected to be used in the future for regenerative medicine, guys. For future clinical applications, currently research is underway to apply treatments using the IPS cells to various diseases. If you have your own IPS cells, it is thought that you can smoothly utilize them for treatment when their application for treatment is approved. There's also the preparation for emergencies, guys. It takes time to produce IPS. The IPS token economy. Guys, we have the flow chart here where we see the IPS research institutes, which flows from the IPS banking, the clinic from IPS banking with the paying the NFTs, donor, user, supporter, service, buy, exchanges, rewards, saving, the treasury is all intertwined in that, guys, as well as the cosmetics produced during the creation of the IPS, personalized medicine at the generic level, personalized insurance at the genetic level as well, personalized exercise at the genetic level, discounted services, and special offers. The donor and user supporter who resonates with the value of the IPS buys IPS coin at exchanges. Then the donor user pays IPS coin for IPS banking services. In the future treatment, donor user will receive the service, which enables the user to have their recreated organs. The donor user and supporter with IPS coins paid or saved will have the right to enjoy IPS related services, such as personalized cosmetics, medicine, and insurance. When it comes to the IPS related services, the personalized medicine at the genetic level. They're developing drugs based on a patient's genetic information may enable the development of drugs that are tailored to individual characteristics
characteristics and may reduce the risk of side effects. The personalized exercise at the genetic level. This information containing information related to athletic ability, muscle type, and adaptability to exercise can be used to recommend the best exercise program and intensity for each individual. This would provide an effective exercise program and support improved health and athletic performance. When it comes to the cosmetics produced during the creation of IPS, the cell structure Super Natin is a nutrient rich solution obtained from culturing IPS cells, which have been initialized from mature cells to a pluripotent state. The solution is purified and contains useful ingredients, making it a potentially high quality skincare ingredient. The next one guys is the personalized insurance at the genetic level. This genetic information can be used to access the disease risk of individual insurance subscribers. This will enable insurance companies to offer personalized insurance plans and to propose the best premiums and coverage for their subscribers. Last but not least, we have the discounted services and special offer. IPS related campaigns such as discounted services, trial program, and medical meeting events are offered. Personal information management guys, IPS and DNA are the sensitive personal information to be strictly managed. They use the technology of IPFS and effectively manage and use the data. They provide manage the data use after permissions. Medical institutions need permission, like the key to get access to the personal data. The IPFS is a distributed file system that provides high security and efficiency for data storage and access guys. The following benefits are expected from IPFS in the management and medical information, the storage and sharing of medical information. This can be used to encrypt and securely store patient medical information, medical records, test results, imaging data, etc. On a distributed network, the IPFS also provides patients and healthcare professionals with easy and fast access to the information that they need. The patient privacy protection guys, this improves the privacy protection of medical information through data encryption and access control features. You can ensure that patient information is disclosed only to appropriate users. The data integrity and durability because IPFS is a distributed system, data redundancy is increased, making data loss and tampering more difficult. This improves the integrity and durability of the medical information. The seamless information exchange, this is based on information. Medically management systems facilitate the exchange of information between different medical institutions and professionals. This is expected to facilitate the sharing of patient medical histories and test results to ensure that appropriate treatment and care is provided. Contribution to research and public health by aggregating medical information through IPFS and providing appropriate access control and privacy protection guys, large scale medical data will be made available to researchers and public health professionals. This may contribute to the development of new treatments and public health policy. Information about their tokenomics here guys, the name of the coin, IPS coin, token ticker, IPS contract. We have the full contract address here and we have their ether scan. Let's check that out guys. The max um, supply of tokens guys is 800 billion tokens, 18 decimals. And here we are on ether scan with all of our 1021 transactions found. Again, we have over 1016 holders over. We have all of the transactions hashes as well the age of the transaction who it's from and who it's going to token distribution we have 20 percent for the reserve 10 percent for their team 40 percent for the ecosystem and 30 percent for the marketing ecosystem allocation of the objective is to be used for ecosystem expansion the marketing course is for community building campaign implementation etc the reserve allocation set aside as a reserve and the team allocation for team members who have contributed to the creation of the ecosystem roadmap from 2023 a thousand people participate in the ips coin economy 10 participating companies launch IPS related services personalized for IPS banking users and supporters. And from 2025, 10,000 people participate in the IPS coin economy, start of medical treatment using IPS cells. And from 2030, the establishment of hospitals platforms for IPS cell operation system. And it enables easy access to medical care of IPS, start of medical treatment using the IPS cells. Here they are on coin market cap guys, ranked number 3,516. They are on 64 watch list. Current trading price is $3.52. Chart looks good, guys. Took a little bit of a hit, but we will recover, of course. And scrolling down, they are listed on BitMart. Of course, the IPS USDT pair and the price $3.50, as I mentioned. Volume $106,000. That's 100% of their volume, of course, because that's the only place that they're listed. Let's check them out on BitMart. And here we are on BitMart, guys. The IPS USDT pair and we have $3.52, as I mentioned. 24 hour change, guys, in the last 24 hours is minus 2.62%. We have the 24 hour high. 24 hour low. It's bouncing around in the middle of that. We're looking pretty good. Again, on the right hand side, we have our order book with all of our beautiful buy and sell orders. Make sure you check that out, guys. And we have all of our market trades under that. Shout out to all my students. I love you. Shout out to the Crypto Class King. Shout out to the Lambo King. Shout out to the Whale King. Shout out to the Hotto King. Thank you very much for your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys, we are an impartial channel. So whether your opinion is negative or positive, we would be more than happy to hear.
right here. That being said, guys, class is now dismissed. Group hug, group hug. We'll see you in our next video. Professor Crypto out. Really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing some more crypto reviews and exclusive international blockchain events. We are the channel for that, guys, as you know. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.